Hi, my name is Roger. How are you doing? Today, we're going to automate the song that we have been mixing. First, I showed you my template with stock plugins. Then we went through the drums, the instrument, and the last video, the vocals. Let's start automating. <laughs> So here is my session, the same session you heard in the last video, it sounds like this. And so on. Where do you want to start? I want to start with the drums. I want to start by adding the drum ribbon and the drum trash in the chorus. So let's try to do that. Let's lower this, make it a little bigger so we can find it. And it should be, uh oh, should be here. Yeah, I think we can raise it during the fill in so a volume automation and i will just put some points here and there there and there and raise it and listen to a volume that's okay for this a couple of bars before I'm listening for the bass drum because this drum ribbon makes the bass drum fatter and fills in the gaps between the drums, so to speak. One more time. We tried that as a start. We do the same with the drum trash. I'll drag it down, make some points. Uh oh. Come on. I think this this is distorted, maybe not so loud, but a little bit. A couple of bars before again. Cool, let's listen to the drums by themselves. can especially hear it on the bass drum. That's fine. Let's see if we want this fake room or not. Drums by themselves again. It's a fine limit between too much and too little on that. I think this is the lower end of it. Where is the higher end of it? Now I have the volume at minus 11, minus 13 actually. Minus eight is too much. So let's try again. A little tiny bit helps. Maybe we don't need to automate it. Let's listen into the chorus. Now it's probably fine. How is the drum parallel? This one. Mm. 
let's see if I raise and lower the volume of that. But solo the drums like this. keep it at a low level on the verse the verse gets tighter and then we can raise it in the chorus so let's do that same thing here I make some points like this from 9 until 9 to 4 dB minus 9 to 4 dB a couple of bars before I can hear the ride symbol more when I raise this parallel compressor. And that is cool. The snare drum, I told you in a couple of videos ago that I wanted the room reverb on the verse and the plate reverb on the chorus. So let's do that. The snare bus is here and I will go to main and uh, send room reverb short and do another one main drum reverb plate and the drum reverb plate is off both of them are off actually let's put them on and take the drum plate all the way down and listen to the drums by themselves once again I think we can do with a little more reverb, a little more. Yes. And there I want the room reverb to stop and the plate reverb to take over. Yes. Should we do anything more with the drums? Let's listen to the song in context with all the instruments. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. Everywhere I go, I will start to run before I crawl. I dream of learning, dream of knowing, point to where it's at, and I will answer road to that. Hmm? Just one more tiny little thing. I want to push the overheads a tiny little bit just when the chorus hits just to make a bigger punch just a couple of dbs like that I go. yes that's the way uh, what more? I think I want to hear this uh, verse roads a bit more. The only thing I know. This one. Let's lower the delay. That's 14%. Like that. see if we can raise the volume something like that in context with the whole song I will lower the 
this guitar, the funky guitar, a little, tiny little bit also. It's okay. I want to automate the B3. And I have a MIDI controller, so I will lower and raise the volume whilst the song is playing. So I will put this on latch and uh, mute some of the instruments so I can hear the B3 better. Maybe like that. And not forget to put this on read again. Now we have a B3 automated. How about the strings? Do they need something? they're fine in volume they could be tiny tiny bit brighter i think to stand out a little bit more let's try and do them tiny little bit brighter let's listen now you can hear them better shall we automate some vocals I want to start with this background vocal ooh thing. Uh, these guys. Because I want to do them a little bit like this. So they have a crescendo and then a diminuendo. And I will just put some points... Uh, I will do like this, lower them a little bit and then put a point in the middle and like this. See how that sounds by themselves. Mm. This point could be mm, like that. Let's listen to it in context. Is that I don't know enough at all Everywhere I go I will start to run before I call I dream of learning Dream of knowing Point to This is okay. I haven't compressed the lead vocal too hard, so the breathing uh, of the lead vocal is not a big issue. Otherwise, I usually go in and take the breathings out a little bit, automate them down, so they're not as loud as the vocal itself. But let's automate a little bit on the vocal. Uh, the first thing I want to do is that I want to set up automation for the long plate and the quarter note delay and the and the delay throw like this and when the chorus hits I want when the chorus comes I want to raise the long plate a bit let's see how that this 
Let's see how this sounds. One bar too early. My mistake. I want to solo up the vocals so I can hear it clearly. Can I have a little more? I will start to run before I crawl, I dream of love. Which was too much. Run before I crawl, I dream of learning. A mm, little too much still, I believe. Let's see if we can raise the... Let's see if we can raise the quarter note delay a little bit also to make the chorus bigger. Run before I crawl, I dream of learning. Dream of knowing. But yes. Let's see if we want to throw, use the throw delay somewhere. Go could be something, couldn't it? Let's try it. Where I go. Uh oh. One more time. Everywhere I go. Wow. Sounds like it's an eighth note, is it? Let's see where we have it. Tape delay. No, it's a quarter note. Let's see if we double that to a half note. What does it sound like? Everywhere I go, I will start to run before uh, that's unusable. That is unusable. Back to quarter. Everywhere I I will adjust this a little bit. And make that delay even thinner. How does it sound now? Everywhere I go I was Too much, but it's cool I was start to run before I crawl I dream of learning Dream of knowing Point to where it's at And I will answer What you had That's fine one little Easter egg in the song that makes the listener... Uh, what was that? What? What? Hopefully. I will do the same thing as with the beat 3. I will put this on latch and I will use my fader to automate the lead vocal. Try there. Something like that. And put it on read again. Is there anything more? Well, these background vocals, I think, are a little bit too loud. Just a tiny little bit. And um, let's listen to the whole song, 
shall we? Yep, it's um, getting closer. I th- believe that we raised, or I raised, the long plate a little bit too much on the chorus. So now it sounds like this. That is cool. Uh, what more can we do? We can play a little bit with the room mics on the chorus as well. Let's see if we try just to lower them a little bit on the verse and have them same volume on the chorus. So I will lower them. 3, 4 dB, something, the verse. The only thing I know Is that I don't know enough at all Everywhere I go I will start to run before I call I dream of learning Dream of The chorus lifts even more, I like it. One, one more thing we can do is the clap with the long reverb, if you remember. The one that sounds like this. I, I want the reverb to be even more obvious. So I will, believe it or not, but I will compress after the reverb. Mm. Longer release. Yes. Now the reverb is even more obvious. So let's see if we have to lower it in volume. The only thing I know is that yes, a little bit, but it's cool. I like it. I, I do. I like it. Uh, we will try another thing also, if we need it. I'm not sure we do on this song, but I want to try my parallel compressors on the stems. This is a parallel compressor for the drums and bass. If you're not familiar what I'm talking about, check out my template video. I will solo up the drums, percussion and bass on the stems and then blend this in. No, I don't think it works. It only makes it harder in a bad way. We have a uh, parallel compressors that I call music parallel, even though bass and drums is music, I think. Uh, it sounds like this. Is that I don't know enough at all Everywhere I go I will start to run before I call I dream of learning I don't think we need it on this On this song No, let's skip it We have a parallel set up for all the stems Unusable, 
on its own. But this one, maybe I can blend in a little bit with all the other tracks to help the limiter at the end with the transients. So let's try it. It glues a little bit. Do we need to do anything on the master sub? Um, well, we have to check our compressor again so we don't hit it too hard. That's fine, nice and gentle. Do we need to do any more processing on the master sub? I don't have an MSEQ in Logic, which is a little bit of a pity. Then I could have EQ'd the sides and the center separately and maybe also raise the sides a little bit to make the mix wider. Let's try the Logic's direction mixer here. See if we can make it a little bit wider without destroying it. Aha. Uh -huh. Actually, it works if I'm subtle with it. As soon as I go over 1.2, I start to hear it in a weird way, so I don't like that. 1.14 I ended up with. How is the limiter at the end? It's nice and gentle. If uh, I would have sent this to a mastering, or if I would master it myself, I would just bounce this mix without processing on the master sub, except for the processing I've heard throughout the mix. So the compressor and the tube EQ here, they would still be enabled when I'm bouncing. Because I mixed into those, those plugins are a part of the sound. If I'm just sending it to a client as a rough mix, I would just limit it a little bit so it can compete with the things on Spotify. Not too hard, but a little bit. You could do small adjustments forever, even in a short song like this. But I think we're pretty much there. So do you want to hear the whole song? I won't wait for an answer. I will play it anyway. The only thing I know Is that I don't know enough at all Everywhere I go I will start to run before I crawl I dream of learning Dream of knowing Point to where it's at And I will answer Okay, pretty much there. So that's about it. And I want to challenge you to mix this song yourself. The links for the audio files, if you have another DAW than Logic, to my session and to my Logic plugin template are, you know by now where the links are. They're, they're down, down below, down below this, this video, un under it under the video. 
I don't have any prizes or anything, but you're more than welcome to send me your mix. Be creative, please. Be creative. No one wants to hear just a mix. Everyone wants to hear a creative mix. A mix you get some feeling from. I hope you found this series interesting. Send me a message if you liked it, so I know I can do more of these series or mixing tips or whatever. Subscribe. Please subscribe if you haven't. And the Swedish word of today, I played some guitars on this song. Guitars have strings. Strings in Swedish is strängar. Strängar. And roll you that. <laughs>